Hi, I'm the Scrub, and you're here for one reason. This is the first 24-man raid that was released in A Realm Reborn, and trust me, you'll get used to the stone architecture of the place because this is one of the three 24-mans that you will get to see a lot of the time in your roulettes. The Crystal Tower raid series has gotten a lot easier and a lot faster over the past few expansions, so let's try and get through this as quickly as possible. Time to learn about Labyrinth of the Ancients. Simplify. Follow the group up the stairs and take the path to the left. For the first three areas, let the tank group everything up and AOE it all down. It's best to stay on the green platforms as there'll be purple poison water that will rise up and you'll need to stay out of it, otherwise it gives a pretty quick dot tick. Just be aware to move out of the orange and look away from the enemies that want to stare in contest in the final square. First boss time. The tank will take the boss and face him away from the party, pulling him a little bit to the north. Stay on the green area so you can stay out of the purple when it rises up. Healers might need to throw out one or two extra heals as there'll be some AOEs that people might not be able to avoid. After a short time, skeleton ads will spawn. Kill everything. When the dragon dies, the skeleton ads that you pre Previously killed will be resurrected. If a skeleton reaches the dragon, it will give out a room-wide AoE. If enough skeletons reach the dragon, it can give out so many AoEs that it can wipe the group, so DPS the skeletons quickly. The dragon will need to be killed three times. After it resurrects itself for the second time, just ignore the ads and DPS the boss down. After you defeat the boss, interact with the portal to go back to the start of the raid. When you get back there, you'll be taking the path to the right. At the end, the path will be split into three stairs. Alliance A will take the leftmost stairs, Alliance B will take the middle stairs, and Alliance C will commit tax fraud. It's best to wait at the purple line at the bottom of your stairs and make sure every alliance is ready to go before you pull. If you get close the pad in front of you, it will pull all three ads and the fight will begin. And if anyone doesn't make it in time and gets teleported in, they will be sent to the section for Alliance A and not their own alliance. Four players from your section, which are normally the healers and two range DPS in your alliance, will need to stand on the glowing pad in front of you. If only three people or less are standing on it, then another alliance will not be able to damage their ad and it can result in a wipe. The other four people, preferably the tank and three other DPS, will go forward and kill the ad at the end of your small section. There will be other ads that you'll need to take care of as well. After an ad is defeated, the respective colored platform in the other alliance will stop glowing and the rest rest of that alliance can join in with their ad. After all three alliances have beaten their ads, it's second boss time. A friendly ad will target members of alliance A within the arena to become invisible. If you are invisible, you can damage the boss. For everyone that isn't invisible, there'll be a bunch of ads that will spawn and run around the arena. Just kill everything as best you can. When the boss chains himself to one of the outside pots, the healers will need to heal the pot up to full health in order for the boss to let go of it. If the pot dies, that alliance will no longer be able to turn invisible and damage the boss, hence why you want to keep it alive. The boss will cycle making alliances invisible and spawning ads. After defeating the boss, enter the portal to go back to the beginning of the raid. This time we'll be taking the straight path. There are three ads, one for each alliance and a yellow bomb tethered to all three in the middle. Make sure you keep the ads apart and DPS them down and quickly kill every single bomb that spawns in. After all three ads go down, you can defeat the bomb in the middle before moving on to the third boss. The floor will become electrified. Healers, get those regens ready. If you get a green marker over your head, a boulder is going to drop on you. Don't worry, it doesn't hurt, but you can't drop it into the boss's hitbox. Move away from the boss slightly so you can drop it in a safe place. While all this is going on, ads will spawn, you can largely ignore them. When the boss raises himself on his hind legs, you'll need to get behind a boulder that is out of his hitbox and within his line of sight. If you don't do this, you will die. The boss will repeat those mechanics until it's defeated. Interact with the portal to get back to the beginning of the raid. Move forward and you'll be transported to a new area. When you walk into the area, you'll be able to hug the wall and follow your alliance to where your pad is located. A is on the far left, C is on the far right, and B is just inside the door. Tanks, when you pull the boss, tank him just off center so you can see when he does his ultimate. Vacuum slash is a cone AOE, so dodge out of the green. Three iron claws will spawn. They will target one person in each alliance. They don't have a lot of health, DPS them down quickly. Megiddo Flame is a straight line of circular AOEs towards a player. Just move out of the path of the fire to be able to dodge it. Abyssal slash give out these curved red and black AoEs on the ground. Just stand in between them, you'll be fine. When the boss moves back to the middle of the arena, he will start casting Ancient Flare. Immediately stop DPSing and run back to your alliance's pad. There'll be a magic barrier put up by the pads to stop the attack from hitting you. If you don't get to the pad and you are still inside the barrier, you will die. If you don't have enough people on each pad, the raid will wipe. After the barrier goes up, there'll be an ad that spawns in, nuke it, and the barrier will disappear and you can keep DPSing the boss. The boss will repeat mechanics with enhanced versions of his attacks. If he starts casting Ancient Flare again and you have him below 5%, just continue DPSing. But if he's over 6%, get back to the pad because it's not worth wiping the raid if you have to start again. Congratulations, you have beaten Labyrinth of the Ancients. My name is The Scrub, thank you for watching.